All right, well, here we are inside the 261 VRL. Um, I'm going to show you the whole layout in just a minute, but this is one of my favorite layouts because it really is one of the most efficient designs you're going to find. It's a, you walk in and you swear it's bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. All right, so um, let's start first in the back. You have uh, storage on both sides of the jackknife sofa. Jackknife sofa is very comfy, you know. Trust me, it is. I'm sitting on it right now. And what I like about a jackknife sofa, especially in a smaller layout, is all the storage you get underneath. So that's all usable space. All right? uh, you just flip this up and you have access to whatever it is you need in there. So, um, so And you have a big windows. It's surrounded by windows. You have a window in the back, windows on both sides, and all the windows in this unit open. So that's very nice. If we swing over this way, you'll see that the entertainment center is on an angle. And that's by design, so you can see it whether you're sitting on the sofa or whether you're sitting on at the uh, booth dinette. And of course, you have a nice, uh, nice fireplace down below. All right, you can adjust all kinds of things on this if you want. Uh, let's go for green crystals and eh, I don't know. Let's go blue flames. All right, so you have a lot of fun with that. Now, that's not just for date night, okay? It's not just ambiance, it actually has a heater in it. Uh, it's uh, 4,777 BTUs, which is almost 5,000 BTU, rated for about 500 square feet, which what that means is it'll smoke you out of here. So on a chilly morning or a chilly evening where you don't want to turn your propane on, that's a great alternative and adds a little ambiance, which is never a bad thing. Okay, Your TV is on a swivel, so it'll still pull out and, and turn. You have nice storage above as well as the venture control panel. Okay? This is where all of your, uh, you check your water, turn your water heater on, check your tank settings, how full they are, turn on your uh, uh, light, uh, interior lights, all right? Uh, you can run your slide outs in and your awning as well, all from one nice centrally located panel. So that's a nice little feature. Okay, if we swing over to this side, we will find the uh, dinette, and this does break down into a sleeping area if you need, if somebody shows up. And, um, you know, I'm 6'1 almost. This would be kind of tight for me to sleep on, I guess, if I was stretched out. You know, I usually sleep in a little ball anyways. But if that's the case, there's plenty of room on the floor for a queen blow-up mattress if you have a couple or something that's staying, uh, staying the night. All right. But a couple things I like about this. <clears throat> One is it's big. It's big enough for four adults to actually sit in comfortably. And the storage underneath, we have uh, doors on the front so it's easy access. But here's the key. We include about a 36 inch tote on both sides, which is fantastic. You can take this in the house, fill it up, bring it out, you're packed. You're never laying on your belly trying to dig to the back of that compartment. And the drawers, you can get drawers in these sometimes, and the problem is they're not as deep as the bunk, so you're not utilizing all the space, or the, the, the dinette seat, I should say. So you're not utilizing all the space. And if you overload those drawers and they break, they're the devil to get fixed, so they never really work right after that. So, but what a great idea, huh? And you can store all kinds of stuff in here. This is where all the extra shoes go, or the dirty clothes, or maybe you keep your hot dog uh, and marshmallow forks in here, you take it all out to the campfire when you're ready to make s'mores. All right, so you come up with your own creative ideas for that. Okay, uh, lights uh, underneath the cabinets or the, uh, the dinette here. Turn them on with the switch here. Uh, these are nice because it's a little accent light that uh, you can use like a night light. If you don't want all the lights on, if you're watching a movie or something, it's nice uh, ambient light. Right. If we move over to the pantry, what you're going to find is that it's big which is not always the case in smaller campers. And the shelves are movable, which is great. You never really know how, uh, what, how big that next box of Frosted Flakes is gonna be. <laughs> All right, so next to the pantry, we have the 10 cubic foot Furion refrigerator freezer, two door. This is 10 cubic foot, it's 12 volt, um, and it's fantastic. Look how huge that is. That is a big refrigerator. Um, and the 12 volt systems uh, are fantastic. Uh, I believe uh, I believe we have the solar optional solar panel on this unit as well, which will help keep your battery charged up if you are dry camping. All right. Moving to the kitchen, 
The end of the cabinet has what we call the safe tech box on it. This is a little hidey hole where you can keep your keys or your wallet or anything you don't want laying around on the counter or you want kind of out of the way. Plus there's a, a 110 and a USB charging station in the top there. So you can keep your electronics charged up. All right. Counter space in here, it's a corner kitchen. Nice big sink in the middle. But like I said, this is about the most efficient layout I've ever seen. You have everything you need and it, it's in a fairly small space. But there's good space all around. Your coffee maker goes back there. You know, there's plenty of room for stuff on the counter. <clears throat> you even have a spot for a, a trash can underneath. Lots of drawers for storage. Oh, you even have a neat, uh, I love these. These are not only a sink cover, all right? So they have slats in them, it's a sink cover, but it's also a dish drainer, okay? So what can you put on that? You know, when you're washing dishes, you lay them there to dry, or if you have a hot pan, it's metal, so you can put it here. It creates more counter space. So we have uh, a nice spring-loaded faucet that's got your little trigger here you can spray or just do the regular water and uh, this year you get the venture cutting board use this for all kinds of things you know put your charcuterie out on this all right everybody loves that all right if we walk through this door we find the bathroom so What's nice about our bathrooms is that this isn't what you typically find in a smaller camper. We have stainless steel sinks, we have metal faucets, we have porcelain uh, toilets, there's storage galore underneath the sink. We even have a little linen closet on the side here. Medicine cabinet storage. And again, in a small space, this is not typically what you see. So this year we've added a motion light in the bathroom. When you walk in, this turns on. Okay, so you don't have to flip the big lights on in the middle of the night. And I wanted to mention the Level Mate Pro. This, is, this comes on every single Stratus that we make. The Level Mate Pro is basically an electronic bubble. Instead of paying $3,000 for an auto leveling system that adds weight and complication to your camper, this basically tells, tells you through your smartphone when you back your camper into place, you look at the app on it and it'll say uh, the left side needs to go up three inches. So you build your blocks three inches, you back up on it, and you're level the first time every time. And it does the same thing when you detach from the truck too. It'll tell you, okay, now bring the hitch up four inches and you'll be level. And the light turns from red to green and you're level. It's a really, really cool system and it comes on every single one. So this is a residential queen size mattress. It's a Serta mattress, you see there. Very comfortable. Uh, well, I, it is for me. Uh, I guess mattresses are a very personal thing. If, uh, if it's not comfortable, the nice thing is it is a residential size, so you can either get a different mattress or you can just buy a pillow topper that matches you know, the firmness and comfort that you like. And a couple things we did uh, to make this even a better, uh, better space, we cut out behind the shirt closet here. You see how there's a shelf and, and another shelf down below with 110 and USB outlets. Um, we call this the uh, store more nightstands. Um, if you know you want to recharge your phones at night, you have an alarm clock. If you're a CPAP user, it's a great place to, to keep all those things. And who doesn't like a nightstand right by their bed? Of course, it doesn't take away anything from the extra storage above or in the shirt closets. And you even got a little cubby storage here for you know your sweatshirts and extra blankets and what what have you. Um, underneath the bed. There's even storage. Lots of storage in this camper. For more information on the 261 VRL, uh, be sure to check out our website uh, at www.venture-rv.com or definitely stop by your local dealer and, and uh, see uh, what they have for you. All right, thanks for coming to see us.